right, we're back today with another type of video. A little different from the others, but I think it'll be interesting. Today, the job is mowing these hills. You've seen these in the videos before. I like to ride over them and have fun with them, but today it's time to weed whack them. What we have here is a good old still FS90R. It's been the workhorse of nine years and it runs like new. The only thing I've ever done to it is put a new carburetor on it. That's it. And uh, a new string head. Oh, and uh, I also had to replace the uh, clutch bearing. But that's it. <laughs> All right, let's get to trimming. I've also got a new mount today. I got a little handlebar mount and see what that does. I've also got a ND8 filter on here. Maybe we'll get a little bit of fancy motion blur in this uh, sunny day here. So uh, let's get to it. This trimmer likes to run wide open. It's kind of its favorite thing to do. Just spin that trigger and let this thing eat. All right, here we go. The only other thing I had to do to this trimmer was to adjust the valves. And it was a slight adjustment. And I didn't even use a feeler gauge, it was just by feel. Checking the rattle of the valve rockers, a little wiggle, and then uh, that was it. So.
you ever feel like your still trimmer is down on power, uh, this really only pertains to the 4Mix models. But if you ever feel like it's down on power, check your valve clearances. If your valve clearances are out of spec, it significantly harms your power output, and you can tell this by how the engine sounds when it's idling. It'll sound kind of muted and soft, rather than uh, kind of like a like a four-stroke dirt bike when it's kind of da -da 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 hitting on every stroke with kind of a kind of like a pounce or a a bump to it, you know, instead of just being kind of soft like a lawnmower. And that's how it should sound. It should sound kind of like high compression, like, um, and that gave me a lot more power to. Mow this tall stuff, especially if it's wet. Thankfully, it's not. It's dry right now, so it's got plenty of power. But also, if your carburetor is not tuned right, that affects it uh, greatly. So, yeah, let's get back to it. And if your trimmer doesn't start first pull, there might be something wrong with your trimmer. Or maybe there's just something wrong with the brand of trimmer, because uh, still FS90Rs start first pull. So if that's what you want your trimmer to do, maybe get a still. <laughs> Shots fired! Fire. Shots fired! <laughs> thing if you're not using uh, the CF3 Pro line maybe check it out I haven't bumped this string head since uh, before I started so yeah as long as uh, you're not hitting bricks you're not hitting twigs or anything really woody if you're, as long as you're just trimming grass this line doesn't wear out um, it, it does break apart when you start hitting woody stuff and your your trimmer line is kind of wrapping around the woody stem then it, it'll snap off and break but it rarely ever snaps off at the head so uh, a lot of saved trouble and a lot of saved annoyances there and not to mention if you're just trimming grass no woody stuff and you're not running up against bricks or sidewalks it lasts basically the whole job unless uh, of course you hit the ground a bunch or or you start hitting something woody
right, that's it. That's it all trimmed up. It only took me about 35 minutes to do. And this trimmer is happy to do it. Does it well, has plenty of power. And let's see how much fuel I burn. Well, I've got probably a half a tank left. So, yeah, and that's wide open. That's the one thing I will say about these four mix engines is that they are very fuel efficient when uh, compared to their two stroke counterparts. It still runs the same fuel as a two stroke engine, but it does it with uh, two valves and uh, a camshaft. Yeah, all right. Well, if this video was enjoyable for you to watch, uh, leave a like, uh, consider subscribing to my channel for future videos. And if you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.